Hey everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We're up here. Uh-oh, I left the beacon up for the power slug. <laughs> I'll need to take that down. We're up here because there's something going on behind me. What? Check it out. I started experimenting with building with foundations and walls. Now this, this is just, we're, we're, we're testing out some stuff here. Went ahead and brought a power supply up here so that I can keep this machine running. I went ahead and used the same basic floor idea where we've got the floor kind of tapering down to the miner, which is just cool. I love the way it looks. So with these different angles and stuff, we can make like cool slope floors. And I wanted it to look like we're, we're running ore into a building, building to be processed. So I've got these splitters, and right now... I'm only running one machine. Just so, you know, we have some copper coming in. I'm just kind of experimenting with placing things. I think once we can get a better, more reliable uh, power source going, we can really start going hog wild. Get it? <laughs> so what we're going to need to do to make this really, really work good is right now we're doing 60 per minute. And one of these will do 30. But here's what I'm really looking at. Uh-oh. Not up here, Piggy. We're going to have to make a hop, skip, and jump run. Whoa. Talk about flying in the air. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Let's see if we can go ahead and jump down here. Now, I've also been letting these machines run a bit in the background. And I've also been doing some crafting. You know what? What is this? I've never seen this. Space elevator. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. You just walk up to it, and it lets you see. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Let's come over here. I've been letting this thing run. Been getting coupons like crazy. Let's see, we got any more? Oh, yep, that number's getting higher and higher. So I've got two coupons sitting around. I bought... Let's see, what did I buy? I went ahead and bought the, the wall mount attachments. See how it's grayed out? That means that we bought it. And then with foundations, we've got the corner ramp. I don't think I've gotten anything else parts and equipment now so we got some more stuff we'll be saving up get more coupons but um here here we go so I'm trying to remember what in the world I was saying oh oh so with uh with the the miner getting only 60 items per minute if we look at tier four the Miner Mark II is going to give us 120 per minute. So that means at 30 per minute for the uh, the ore being converted into ingots, four of those smelters are going to keep up with one miner. So we can really start cranking out the copper. But that also means we can really start cranking out the iron. But to do all of that, we're going to need to be able... Let's go back. I know, I know, <laughs> I'm like, I got all this cool momentum I'm building up and then it ruins it. So to get that, we need to do advanced steel, steel production, which means we need to be able to make uh, 200 steel pipes. So the first thing we got to do is be able to make basic steel, which is right here. So to do that, we're going to need to make these modular frames, uh, a little bit more concrete, which we have plenty of concrete. And I've gone ahead and added up how many rotors I'm going to need for all, both of these tiers and all of this. And I, I've started I've started getting ready. So I've got plenty of rotors. But to get some machines going so that we can start automating making uh, reinforced iron plates for... Uh, wait, I keep getting mixed up here. So that we can make these... So for 50 of those, I need 150 reinforced plates. That's a lot. So to be able to get all this stuff going, we're going to need to uh, get coal power going. Because coal power, if I'm not mistaken, look, burns coal to boil water, makes steam. Um, it doesn't tell me how much resource consumption will automatically be lowered to meet power demands. Okay, so that means it's only going to consume coal based off the amount of power we're pulling out of it. So to be able to find coal, the first thing we've got to do is to complete this milestone. Let's go ahead and select it. And I think I do have enough materials built up for this. So 150 of these. We need 
we can split that in half and take 50 and then 300 cables and I think that's gonna let us be able to look for coal now so I'm gonna dump you in there and you and you and you and you and launch it Whoop. get launched reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Awesome. Note, ensure mm -hmm. the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Okay. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Okay. Are you done? Thank you, Ada. Thank you very much for aiding us in learning. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. We'll go ahead and get a next milestone uh, ready to go. Vehicular transport, basic steel production. I think that's more what we need to be aiming for so that we can get these steel pipes made. So let's go ahead and select that milestone. And, oh, we can't turn anything in. The pod's not going to be back for another 10 minutes. Yikes. Well, that's fine. We will look at some of this other stuff. So, I don't think we got anything new from here. Did we get anything new from here? No. But I think we did get some new buildings. So let's just start at the top. A water extractor. Um, what is that? 20 copper sheets we're going to need? Okay, so we're going to need to set that up. Power. A coal generator. Ooh. Okay, we're going to need to make 20 of those reinforced plates. Uh, oh, okay, so we got pipes, which looks like it uses copper sheets for stuff. Oh, that one's regular metal sheets and some concrete. Okay. Uh, oh, fluid buffer. Okay. Anything new with foundations? No. Same walls. Oh, I guess we never did look at these, the jump pads and tilted jump pads haven't really messed with those we'll have to mess with those they take power that's why I've kind of been avoiding them because if if you were to jump in the air see this it creates a dampening jelly to guarantee a soft landing if we ran out of power and we got launched and headed towards this I, I get the feeling that uh, we might get hurt <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. So we need to have a better reliable source of power. So let's see here. Let's bring up our scanner. Okay, we're going to scan for coal. Let's see, where is there some coal? Ooh, that's, oh, 588, 815, and 1,000. Let's see here, five, okay, 588 this way. Um, let's take a beacon. Do I have beacons? Oh, you know what we do have? We have this, this, uh, this beacon sitting up here for a power slug that we've already gotten. We'll just pick you up and we've already lost. <laughs> where the coal is. I think it said it was about 500 meters this way. So let's see here. Let's scan for it again. And I know it's in this general direction. We're just going to start running. There we go. 400 meters. Now the other thing is to make, make this work, we need to have a water source. Now I've found one small water source. Let's see here. Um... I hear some creature moving around. And I know every time that we find a resource node, there's going to be some creature lurking around it. So we got to be careful. Uh-oh. The thing just disappeared. Okay, let's scan one more time. Cole, where are you? 200 meters that way. Um, is it just me or is it like that's a big drop off down there? <gasps> I hear something. <laughs> I do not. Oh, 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 get out of here. So what I'm afraid of is they're going to attack me and knock me off a cliff and I may not be able to get back down. Let's see. Oh, 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 we're getting beat up big time. There we go. So that's one. 
Where'd the other one go? Whoo! No, don't change, Tom. <laughs> eat some food, Piggy. Eat some food. I know he's around here somewhere. No, nope, not the chainsaw. That's not going to do a darn thing. Okay, let's just scooch down here for a second. Okay, no bad guys. See, that looks really far down. I get the feeling if I fell down there, I might die. And I'm not seeing a way over. <gasps> you stinker. Get out of here. <laughs> this is a very dangerous area. But I'm not seeing how we would get across to over there. Plus, we need water. I'm sorry. So, let's see here. Let's... Let's, let's do this. Let's go... Ooh. What level of limestone is this? Impure. Okay, we'll keep moving. As we get to the higher uh, purity levels, or as we get to the the miners that mine stuff faster... Oh, another one? Normal. Okay. As I say, as we get these uh, Mark II miners and whatever's above that, we're going to want better nodes to be able to pull better resources out. So let's see here. There was another... Okay, so, so let's do this. I'm going to go over and show you where the water supply is that I saw to see if that's going to be uh, good enough. Oh, and it's going to start getting nighttime. Stinky stinkerish. Let's see here. Let's go over here and look at this water supply real quick. And we'll see how far this other coal node is from, uh, from this scan. What is this level impure? Okay. So I don't know what the level of the first one is that we are pulling from that's over there. But we did find at least a normal node. So right over here, I was kind of exploring a little bit off camera. And I found this. We've got a pond of water right here. Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough to make steam power or not. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and scan for coal again. Ooh, some more food. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, there's a big waterfall over there. That might be some a, a good source of water. Okay, that's 800. That's 8. Okay, that's really not that far. 800 is where we were just at over on those cliffs. So let's run over here and see what this is. Hopefully there's nothing out here that'll try and get us at night. I'm going to slide down the hill. Ooh, more food. Yes. Yes, please. Now, so far I haven't found any way to to build a, oh, more food. To build a farm, you just have to kind of scavenge for the food. It'd be nice if there was a way to build some scurrying creature. It, there, it'd be nice if there was a way to build food farms and we could make sure to always have... Ooh, what in the world? Always have uh, food for health. Whoa! That is cool! That is a lot of water. I think that will let us make steam power. But it looks like this goes down. Okay, so where is the coal? I thought it was over here. Oh, wow. Look at that. <gasps> you see that right there? I saw it. Let's run down here and take a look. Now, this is kind of far. <gasps> Uh-oh. Come on, guys. You gotta let Piggy pass. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that was weird. Um, Where'd the other one go? Oh, I see him moving around. Come here, you. We need this car piece thing for more uh, research and whatnot. Did you fall off the edge? Come out, come out wherever you are. I wonder if it did. Can it fall off the edge? Oh, there it is. It's not angry anymore. 
Okay, will you stay over there? Although I do want to get this power slug as well. Are, are you going to... Nope. <laughs> Let's just do this, because I think we're going to have to run back up this way anyway. Come on. I'm sorry. Sounds so terrible when you do that. Go and get this power slug. Awesome. Oh, that was a nasty sound. <laughs> it's like... Boing. Alright, so let's... I'm almost tempted to jump off into the water, but I don't know about that. Alright, let's see here. Is there going to be weird, crazy creatures in the jungle? Welcome to the jungle. It's like you have to say it. Oh, tartar sauce. Do I have... Nope. I didn't bring any fuel. As I said, we might need to cut some stuff. Oh, there's some crazy creature right there as well. All right, so let's scan one more time for coal. Two hundred five meters that way. Let's see if we can keep our eye on whatever that thing was that's walking around. I hear it. Whoa! Fireball! Oh gosh! How many hits does it take? Okay, we're not taking too much damage. Oh, alien organs. Okay, that's new. So just kind of look around for a minute. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate drop. And there we go. All right, so somewhere right in here was coal. There's sparkly on the ground right here. I wonder what this is. Ooh, I think we found it. Oh, yeah, we found it. All right, come here, you. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, it's so hard to see. And that's another thing. I don't know. Oh, you know what? We have a flashlight. <laughs> I just remembered that. Okay, so I'm sorry if this doesn't make y'all sick jumping around like that. Okay, so coal. We found coal, and it's normal. It's normal coal. All right, so i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to get myself some uh, some fuel for this. So, <laughs> so we can start uh, clearing out this area, because we need to make a clearing so we can start working here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on getting some materials ready so that we can get um, what do we need? We need a water extractor. We need a coal generator, and probably we're gonna need a miner so that we can get ourselves some coal as well. So I'm gonna try and gather all that up, bring it down here, and then we're gonna try and see if we can get ourselves some coal power going. Check it out, check it out. Went in and built some floors. Oh, went ahead and made a few foundations. Yes, I did. So I got this thing set up. I'll turn around just a second and show you. Went in and got this thing set up like this. I was really surprised to see how different in elevation. Like this deck right here is level with the coal factories over there, which I haven't shown. I know. I know I'm being troll-like. But water level compared to that that's pretty far and I wanted it to be kind of flat I, I like building on foundations if I can just because it helps me snap things too so I've got a little workstation going over here oh this thing these little creatures so I had seen something where you're supposed to feed them you can see like he's licking his chops I'm gonna place I think it's a berry and let's see what he does does he go up to it Okay, it looks like he ate it, and I think we're supposed to pet him with an empty hand? Now, no, don't chainsaw him, Piggy. E to pet the... C, press E to see if he's found anything? Okay. Did you find something, sir? Oh, that's weird. He's got like four eyes. No? I mean, this is all my inventory, so... Okay. Let's run back over here. 
Or the waste of a berry cherry. Oh, now you're going to be my best friend, huh? <laughs> wonder if I can give him another one. Do you want another one? Or are you just my friend now? <laughs> so now I've got a pet friend. Oh, come on, buddy. You can help me work on this stuff. So I've got these two uh, miners set up. Went in, followed kind of the same idea. Just got the little opening in the floor. We've got no power. We can make 60 coal a minute. So what I want to do is I want to look at making a, uh, a coal factory. Let's see here. Where'd it go? Oh, oh, it would be power. Hello. Coal generator. Let's do this. Let's go coal generator. I think I brought enough stuff to make two of them. So I'm going to need reinforced iron plate. I need some rotors. And some gobble. Some cable. Oh no, I don't have enough cable for two of them. What'd you do, piggy? Well, we can build one. We'll build one and experiment. And then I can do the other stuff off camera. How about that? So... First thing I want to do is smack this down so we can look at it and see. There we go. See what it looks like. So we have an attachment off the front for electricity to come out. Pretty big unit, actually. And we have two spots in the back. Fuel and water. So we're going to have to run water into this thing and fuel. The stinkers thing is the fuel's going to come from this way. The water's going to come from that way. Hmm. How do we want to do these pipes? Let's see here. Let's, um, let's go ahead and erase that. And I'm going to climb up on top of this because I want to line up the, um, what do you call it? The little back of the thing. I know you can't climb up here. My best friend now. <laughs> So, all right, so let's rotate. Oh, nope. There we go. Rotate that around. Now, if I hold control, see, it wants to line it up evenly in front. I don't want that. I want that orange. There we go. That's what I want. And let's see here. Should there even really be a reason for it to have to go so far? Probably not. Well, you know what? Let's leave a little bit of space for the pipe to be able to reach this. And let's see here. If we're only doing 60 per minute, then this conveyor belt only does 60 uh, items per minute. So it'll be an even trade. We won't, we won't overwhelm the system. We won't bottleneck anything. Um, of course, the other question is... Oh, I guess I could have used the hotkeys. I guess the other question is going to be... That just throws me that those things make noise. <laughs> um, is this thing going to consume 60 a minute? See, that might be overkill. We'll have to find out. So, this is going to make power, and it's going to need to power the coal generator to put coal in it. Now, the other thing is we have to get water over here. So, let's see here. I went ahead and made some of this, some of these. Oh, you know what we do need to do? Let's look at a water extractor. Okay. Did I remove the other coal gen Okay, yes, yeah, so we only had one. Oh, and I have enough for the water extractor. So let's do this. Let's run over here. Now, what I haven't really experimented with is how far can you push water? You've got these things called water pumps. And I'll show you. Let's, let's look here. Um... Production, water, default extraction rate, 120 cubic meters of, I think that's what that is, cubic meters of water per minute, head lift 10 meters. It allows fluids to be transported 10 meters upwards. Okay, so head lift is a measurement vertically for water. Extracts water from the body of water it's built on. Note the water needs to be deep enough and that rivers do not commonly suffice. Okay, so the fact that this is, oop, the fact that this is like a lake is going to work to our advantage. So let's see here. Um, 
It's not in power. Maybe logistics? Here we go. So a pipeline pump can be attached to a pipeline to apply head lift. Maximum head lift of 20 meters allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upwards. Outputs fluids at 300 cubic meters per minute. Note, has an in and output direction. Head lift does not stack, so space between pumps is recommended. Okay. Um, and is there any information on pipes? Would it be an organization? Oh, wait. Pipeline. There we go. Ooh, my get a little bit of lag with my mouse there. Outside indicators show volume, flow rate, and direction. Transports up to 300 cubic meters of fluid per minute. Okay, so one pipe will move up to 300 cubic meters per minute and a water extractor makes 120 so two extractors will not overload a pipe we could do three extractors which is going to give us 360 so we're going to end up with 60 cubic meters of water that can't flow through that pipe so that's where we would Ooh, it got dark all of a sudden all right so we're going to work in the dark so what we need to do is maybe put an extractor right here and run the pipe up here let's see if it let's see if the extractor will even fit there so let's ooh okay all right so let's rotate that so that the pipe is pointing at us i need this on deep water okay so let's put it about like that i love how you see the items go flying out of your inventory <laughs> okay so I think what we need to do is attach a pipe to the front of that. Let's see here. Let's jump down. Because I want to be able to kind of see what in the world I'm doing here. Nope, we're in the water. It won't let us... Can I stand here? Okay, that'll work. Um, let's see here. Logistics, was it? Pipeline. Okay, so if we put a pipe there... Oh, you can't... You can't in the water. Okay. So how am I going to do that? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, let's let's climb up the ladder. There we go. E to configure. Okay, it needs power. Oh, that's crazy weird. It's like floating around. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, you know what I need to do? Let's... Do I have any concrete? No, I don't. I was going to say, if we could build a foundation... Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal a foundation, and we'll put it back. See, the cool thing is that it's not like gravity affected. So, middle mouse. Let's put a foundation there, and let's see if we can. There we go. Look at that resourcefulness and everything. So, do I have pipes on one of the hot bars? No, I don't. Okay, so we'll need to fix that as well. I need to remember the right button is what I need to do. So pipeline, we'll put that there. Well, that's weird. Um, no, I don't want that to go down there. How do we get it to go up top? All right, so let's do this. Oh, no. <laughs> now, there's a way to do ladders um, with those things that you put the uh, conveyors on. Should probably set those up for ladders here pretty soon. All right, there we go. Now we're in business. Now we can hop and skip and jump. So can I put this right up here? Is that in line? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, look, it's like automatically bending. Okay. So let's do that. How does that look? Oh, I'm hitting squat, or I'm hitting tab like I want to squat, like I'm playing Minecraft or something. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, so we've got the pipe coming up to here. What I don't know is, how do you measure meters in this game? Um, let's go ahead and see if we can build a biomass burner. I'm missing wire. Probably should have thought all this stuff through before I did it. Oh. There's that dog again. Hello, dog. Did you find anything? Nope. Okay. Where's the moon? Okay. Doesn't say. It seems like it's starting. Oh, it is getting brighter. Okay, cool. 
So it looks, I'm looking at the timer on how long I've been filming this clip. It looks like the night cycle lasts maybe um, 10 minutes. That's what it looks like. I'd kind of be curious to know what the day cycle is. Oh, let's get some more food here. Never can't have enough food. Pig loves his food. So we're going to come over here and use this um, biomass burner to start pushing water. Because I need to see how high this is. Can we push water up here? And I think once we get water to the, the steam generator, we can manually put some coal in there. And then I think we'll be okay with a like perpetual motion machine, pretty much. Let's see here. Wire. Okay. Two. Number two. Number two. And do I have fuel? Yes, I do. Okay, so that's up and running. Let's see, what do we got? We got any water or anything coming up here? Current a mountain pipe. <gasps> it's working! It will push it up this high. Okay, that's awesome. So I should be able to just do like this. Yeah, it's right in my face. <laughs> oh, turn it sideways. There we go. Let's do like this. How far can I go? Pipe is too long. There we go. Now I have to click it twice, and I'll show you why. It, it's doing the same thing that the uh, the conveyor lines were doing to me. Okay, pipe is too long. So I was going to say, let's get it as far as we can get it to go. Right about... Th there. Okay, I click it once to anchor it. See, it doesn't move around anymore. I can rotate it that way with my mouse wheel. I can also change its elevation. I'm just going to keep it low to the ground for now. I'm not too worried about being way up in the air. Once we set this next pipe, what I do want to do is check and see um, is it pushing water all the way over here? Let's... Pipe is too long. Okay. Oh, almost made it. So let's see here. One more. Right there. Let's do that. And then let's look and see. There we go. Are we getting water over here? Hmm. See, it said it'll push it 10 meters up. Everything else is flat. Why are we not getting water over here? We'll see how far back we can get this water to go. It's weird. It's like I hear sound. I kid you not. That thing sounded like it was shutting down. See, we're not getting water here. Oh, look. That's as high as it'll go. So we are going to need to put a pump in this thing. And those rings do not look like those rings. I wonder if that's telling me like the level of water that's in here. Okay, so a pump. Is it logistics? Okay. And I've got a green arrow pointing up. Missing rotors. Missing two rotors. It's always something, isn't it? Alright, so let's do this. We'll go ahead and extend this pipe back over here. And while we're over here, we'll grab ourselves some rotors. How does that sound? So, click you. Click you. Hop, skip, and a jump. I wonder if I could just get it to diagonal over this way, or if that would be... See, it says pipe is too long. Can it... Can you go there? No, pipe is too long. All right, we'll just make it go straight. Let's see. Pipe is always too long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right here? How about here? Okay, we'll do that. And then... Yes, dog, I see you. It's like most animals. You feed them and they're, and they're your friend for life. Let's see here, I want to turn this right here. I ended up putting all this right here on the edge. Let's go ahead and... Dismantle that. Okay, so whenever you your inventory is full and you empty out one of those crates, it's going to drop one of those behind. So we'll just come back for that in a second. All right, so pipeline. 
Can you go right here? Oop, almost. <laughs> the little dog creature is obsessed with food, I tell you. Tell you what I'm going to do for now. Let's just get this over here. I'll make it all pretty and nice looking later. Okay, so there we go. We've got our pipe connected. Let's check in this crate that's on the ground and make absolutely sure that we've got rotors. Oh, we almost got everything. I don't have any rotors with me. Let's see if we can build a rotor real quick. A rotor rooter. Craft bench. So you always want to try and have at least enough stuff to build yourself a craft bench if you can. So I need some screws. We can build that real quick. Well, we need 25. Oh, my inventory is full. Um, let's see here. I think if I do this, I can drop... Yep, okay. I can drop stuff on the ground. So we need... Oh, we're going to have, like, a few left over. That's fine. Um, it's just one rotor, right? Oh, gosh. Here we go again. Let's build... <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another, I tell you. All right, so you go there. And put all the concrete there. Pick that up. Get all that stuff. Oh, not allowed to have it. Okay. Um, we'll put up the wires. We'll put that up. There we go. Cleaned up our mess like a pro. And let's go and get that copper out of there. I don't think I need any of that right now. Press E to craft. There we go. So I just need, I think, a rotor and some copper. Logistics. Two rotors. Good thing I checked. So 25 more. Keep going. No, don't do the autosave. Not yet. We don't know if this is going to work. One more rotor. There we go. Okay. So we'll run over here. And we will... And like I said, I think I'm going to come back later and I'm going to mess with these pipes a little bit so that it's angular straight lines and stuff like that just so it looks nicer. Also need to think about the ability to, you know, climb underneath. <laughs> Don't think I did that right. So let's see here. Let's get the pipeline pump. Okay, we know that the water's getting almost to the top, so let's put it about right there. And then we're gonna need to remove this because I need to put I need to put a power pole down. Concrete and wire piggy. <laughs> It's not one thing, it's another. As I tell you, we're getting our exercise, that's for sure. So I also figured something else out. When I was clearing out this area, see that thing right there? It's like yellow and red. If you chop it down, you get like these mushroom things from it. So, so I guess mushrooms is something we're going to be needing for something. I think you can put it in the MAM and do research on it. So I'll have some mushrooms that we can go research later. See, I told you, if you've been watching this from the beginning, I told you. It's going to be a hop, skip, and a jump all the time just trying to get places. Once we can get some uh, transportation stuff going, maybe we'll be able to get around a little bit better. I guess if if Piggy would pre-plan what he's doing a little bit better, we could get that to work as well. So we're going to put a power line here. Power... Is it going to connect? Missing cable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to edit real quick here. I'm going to go get cable and I'm, I'll meet you right back over there. Okay, so we've made our way back. Let's connect you to you. Oh, 
cool. It's making a cool sound. Are we getting water? Is it getting pushed up here? Why is that not working? Can you configure the... Okay. So we're getting a flow rate. Recommended max head lift. Head lift of one point... Why is it not pushing any higher? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it needs to... Let's do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can push it farther down. Oh, crazy. It's like a weird, crazy animation going on in the water. Um, so, pipeline pump. Maybe put it about right there? We'll see if that works. You and you... How does that... <gasps> yeah, buddy. There we go. We just had to have it far enough down that it actually picked up some of the water. That is so cool. And let's see. Okay, so it open, open, open. So water's flowing that way. It looks like this separates. Okay, so the further apart it is, the more water's inside it. Awesome. So we have water now. And I think we can hear it. Yep, see we've got we've got these things moving apart now. That is so cool. Okay, so let's go over here. Be a good way to end the episode, see this thing get turned on. Um So we've got water going in. Awesome. We got no way to jump over that. <laughs> um let's see here. So I want to connect power from you to you did it connect okay we do have a wire and let's see here let's go ahead and get some coal that'll be our, our like our starter coal let's dump that in there <gasps> so we're going to be able to hook up the water pump and the miner to this thing and so it's going to provide itself with the water and fuel it needs and because these resources never run out we now have a uh, an infinite source of power we don't have to keep feeding a biomass burner which is awesome so this thing's going to make up to 75 megawatts what we'll have to do is subtract that's 5 megawatts a second that's 75 every 4 seconds hmm And the other thing is, we're going to have to wire this machine. Oh, cool, you can see it spinning. Oh, it's giving us smoke, too. <laughs> but we're going to need to pull power from this to hook up to the to the miner. Uh, and power to hook up over to the water pump. And then we got to figure out how to get power all the way over to the base. Or do we move the base, one or the other? We'll have to, we'll have to experiment with that. Oh my gosh, but I do feel like we got quite a bit done in this episode. That's pretty awesome. So, like I said, what I'll do between episodes is I'm going to just kind of work out the logistics in detail of where the pipes should go, trying to get everything plugged in and hooked up, and see if we can get power over to the base so that we can start not worrying about power and start worrying about building stuff, which would be just awesome. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, you're not already subscribed, and you want to be, do you want to be subscribed? <gasps> he brought me some stuff. Check that out. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want YouTube to notify you when uh, new videos come out. And click the notification bell as well. Look at that. I made a rhyme. Do you like the rhyme? I think you did. I don't know if he knows what a rhyme is. <laughs> but I'm having a whole bunch of fun playing this game. And I hope you're having fun watching me play this game. Um, you can go check out on Steam or Epic Store. It's for sale right now. It's a whole lot of fun. You can even play it multiplayer with your friends. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff organized and ready for next episode. And that is when I hope to see you is in the next episode of Satisfactory. <laughs>